Potria lata. There is a unique plant that you can see when traveling to South America. Slightly curved shape of its leaves. Actually usual, but the red color in there makes it unique, much like the thick lips flushed sexy. Psychotria alata, commonly known as girlfriend kiss it is a tropical plant that ranges from Central to South American rainforests in countries such as Mexico, Costa Rica, Ecuador, Panama, and Colombia. This plant will typically be found in the understory layer of rainforests. This extremely sensitive and requires specific climates to grow. Those climates most like rainforests are best suitable for this plant. This species can grow from 1 to 3 meters occasionally reaching 4 minutes height. The bark and leaves of Psychotria the Guna people native to Panama and Colombia have habitually used this flower for dyspnea. In Nicaraguan communities, the plant has been used to help with the side effects from snake bites. All parts of the plant have been known to be used for this purpose. A lot are used in folk medicine for earaches, cough, and skin irritation or rashes. Poppy plant. Poppies are herbaceous annual, biennial or short-lived perennial plants. Some species are monocarpic, dying after flowering. Poppies can be over a meter tall with flowers up to 15 centimeters across poppies belonging to the types of wild flowers that usually grows in groups in meadows or mountains. This flower type is now widely cultivated as an ornamental plant. The impression is fragile and vulnerable increasingly made dazzling. Plants that resemble female genitalia more or less consists of 120 species, including ones used as the raw material of opium. The opium poppy, Papaver somniferum, grows wild in eastern and southern Asia and southeastern Europe. It is believed that it originated in the Mediterranean region. Auricularia auricula, Auricularia auricula judy, which has the recommended English name jelly ear, is a species of fungus in the order Auricularials. Basidiocarps are brown, gelatinous, and have a noticeably ear-like shape. They grow on wood, especially elder. The specific epithet is derived from the belief that Judas Iscariot hanged himself from an elder tree. The common name Judas's ear was largely eclipsed by the corruption Jew's ear. The fungus can be found throughout the year in Europe, where it normally grows on wood of broadleaf trees and shrubs. These form on the lower surface of the ears and the spores are catapulted into the air beneath the fruit body. The fruit bodies have a rubbery texture and have been cultivated for centuries in Asia. Lufa Vietnam. Lufa is a genus of tropical and subtropical vines in the cucumber family. It is cultivated and eaten as a vegetable, but must be harvested at a young stage of development to be edible. The vegetable is popular in India, China and Vietnam. Never seen a fruit that looks exactly resemble women's breasts. If not, the name of the fruit is the fruit lufa. It looks strange, sounds a little vulgar, but the fruit is really there. In Indonesia, the fruit lufa does sound familiar. This fruit comes from Vietnam. Lufa fruit has a pink color with enlarged end portion and has a black lump similar to pudding on the breast. Snapdragon. Anterhinum is a genus of plants commonly known as dragon flowers, snapdragons and dog flower because of the flower's fancied resemblance to the face of a dragon that opens and closes its mouth when laterally squeezed. They are native to rocky areas of Europe, the United States, Canada, and North Africa. It is widely used as an ornamental plant in borders and as a cut flower. Unique flower-shaped skull when this song sounds quite unique and creepy. How not? when wilted flowers will change shape to resemble a human skull. Snapdragon has a Latin name Anterhinum magis is a kind of garden plants. This interest in Indonesia known as the dragon's mouth because the shape of the flower is similar to a dragon's head. The snapdragon is an important garden plant, widely cultivated from tropical to temperate zones as a bedding, rockery, herbaceous border or container plant. Guarana, Guarana, Paulinia cupana, since P. chrysan, P. sorbalis is a climbing plant in the family Sapindaceae, native to the Amazon basin and especially common in Brazil. Guarana has large leaves and clusters of flowers and is best known for the seeds from its fruit, which are about the size of a coffee bean. The leaves are wide and have clusters of flowers. Fruit skin is red with white meat. Inside are black seeds the size of a coffee bean. 
If you have broken skin, flesh and seeds so it looks like eyeballs. The color of the fruit ranges from brown to red and it contains black seeds that are partly covered by white arrows. The carnivorous pitcher plant. Pitcher plant, any carnivorous plant with pitcher-shaped leaves that form a passive pitfall trap. The traps of what are considered to be true pitcher plants are formed by specialized leaves. The plants attract and drown their prey with nectar. Pitcher plants are found in a wide range of habitats with poor soil conditions, from pine barrens to sandy coastal swamps, and rely on carnivory to obtain nutrients such as nitrogen and phosphorus. A new species carnivorous pitcher plants have been found in a remote cardam in the mountains of Cambodia. Carnivorous plants are plants that get most of their nutrients are not from the sun but from trapping and consuming animals or insects. This species looks very similar to the male genitalia. False morals. The name false moral is given to several species of mushroom which bear a resemblance to the highly regarded true morals of the genus Morchella. There are several true species of the false moral, and while some will say they can prepare and eat the false moral with no problem, Others have a drastically opposite reaction to them. Research shows this species of the moral family is said to contain a toxic chemical called gyrometrin, a toxic and possible carcinogenic chemical. Real morals have a lattice-like surface on their caps, with pits and ridges. False morals have a wavy, lobed surface, similar to the wrinkled cerebral cortex of our brains. The caps of false morals are not completely attached to the stem as in real morals. Real morals are entirely hollow when cut from cap to stem. 